new ad from a conservative political group makes its case by comparing President Obama to Adolf Hitler and Iranian President Ahmadinejad. That combined with another ad from the National Republican Congressional Committee should, could signal conservatives are beginning to feel that the president may be vulnerable or maybe that there's nothing wrong with going over the line. In any case, watch. The world watched as a regime spun out of control. They proposed a civilian security force, and an American congressman warned it was exactly what Hitler did in Nazi Germany. But wait, but these press reports aren't about Iran. They're about Barack Obama's administration right here in the U.S. Obama's Department of Homeland Security labeled political opponents domestic right-wing terrorists. It's time to fight back against the leftist policies of Barack Obama, Harry Reid, and Nancy Pelosi. Under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. That's right, skyrocket. It'll destroy jobs and cost middle class families $1,800 a year. Two questions. Is the president vulnerable? And secondly, are these ads over the line? Here to make their case, Ryan Grimm, senior congressional correspondent for the Huffington Post, and Rehan Salam, contributor to the DailyBeast.com. Rehan, the idea that Barack Obama can be compared to Adolf Hitler, that crosses the line, doesn't it? Uh, absolutely, but these two ads are completely different. The second ad is a sober, reasonable, responsible advertisement, and the first is bait. The first is designed to make people flip out, and it's utter nonsense. Ryan, your take. Yeah, I think that's probably right. The, the second ad is the more interesting one, and, and it was directed at, at this uh, Democratic congressman in Virginia named Tom Periello. And Periello is being actually, I think, a little foolish in the way that he's in the way that he's handling his relationship to Obama and to the climate change bill that this was about. You know, it might be smarter instead of him saying, "Hey, this was just a principled stand, but it's going to raise your electricity rates. We're going to end climate change." If he would come out and say, "You know what? This is going to create green jobs. This is going to create renewable technologies, and in the process, it'll keep us uh, independent." from foreign oil and it might roll back climate change, it's a good thing he'd be a little smarter because now he's getting tied to Obama and uh, you know, his constituents uh, are going to look at it as something that is negative rather than something that's positive. Rayon, as far as the first step, what do we know about this group that's trying to raise money off of this? And are any Republicans out there saying, wait a second, you can criticize the president, but to actually try to compare him to Adolf Hitler both diminish, diminishes what Nazi Germany was all about and is so offensive on so many levels. Virtually any Republican you'll talk to will say exactly that. The ad is totally absurd. It's very similar to the Swiftboat veterans. They spent a tiny sum of money, uh, something in the range of tens of thousands of dollars, to create an ad that was then repeated and received tremendous amounts of free media that turned what would have been a tiny story into a major story. It's a classic bait and switch operation uh, by a totally marginal group. All right. Uh, Ryan, uh, as far as the strategy of trying to take on President Obama, the, the polling shows that his approval ratings have dropped a little bit, but they're still pretty strong. Is it wise politics just in general to try to go after President Obama personally? Well, the, the NRCC and the Republicans in general are, are really trying to make a lot of headway with, with the climate change bill. And right now, Democrats are playing right into their hands by saying, uh, yes, uh, energy prices are going to skyrocket, but we're going to help you out a little bit with those energy prices. But it, more importantly, it's something we have to do to, uh, to stave off cli climate change. The right way for them to frame it, you would think, would be, look, we're creating green jobs. It's going to raise your electricity bill like 12 cents or $12 a month or whatever it is. But it, it's not that that big of a deal and it's going to reshape our economy and the way that our economy is going right now who, who would object to to reshaping it ryan Grimm and rayhan salam thank you so much we appreciate you coming on it's going to be very interesting Thanks to see if us. that if that hitler ad actually if they ever make an, an ad buy on that you and i clicked on the website and we saw that they're saying help us raise funds so that we can place this ad and you know what we should do we should issue a challenge the people who really want to put this kind of ad out there have the guts to actually show up on this program or any other and explain yourself and take the criticism from the likes of us and other people who find this offensive rather than hiding behind these shadowy groups come out into the open expose yourself and let's let's have a real debate over over this kind of stuff because otherwise it's so um, it's just nonsense. Well I want to know case. if they ever really want to place the money, spend the money on that ad buyer, if they just want right. to raise some money and get people like us talking about right. it. Absolutely.